and I think when you talk about innovation and the ability to really make a difference, there is no bit greater challenge in front of us than the fight against AIDS. And this group you're about to hear from uh, is making a huge difference, which I think has the potential to go around the world if it plays out the way that they believe and we believe. It's a breakthrough in many ways in terms of how you deal with the infection and how you begin to get countries turned around in terms of the spread of the disease. I'd like to invite Frank Lehman, Louise Vendette, and Ed Woods to come up on the stage, please. Louise. Uh, you know, what is the challenge? And uh, we're going to talk specifically about uh, uh, one country, uh, Swaziland. Uh, the life expectancy in the last decade in this country has gone from 56 years all the way down to 34 years. The impact on that on social and economic environments we all understand. The infection in terms of the reproductive population is at 26% and it's at 41% in terms of pregnant women with HIV positive. The antiretroviral treatment, ART, has had dramatic results. A number of the people on ART increased from 0.25 million in 2002 to 6.2 million in 2010. The number of new infections dropped by nearly 20% between the 1998 and the 2008 time period how they're addressing it, preventing treatment, pre promoting treatment as a prevention mechanism, potentially to dramatically reduce the AIDS epidemic in the country. United post, uh, Postcode uh, Lotteries, along with Stop AIDS Now, and the Clinton Health Access Initiative commit to leveraging ARTs as a form of prevention. The program will seek to achieve universal access to HIV testing, and initiate ARTs among HIV positive people at an early stage. This will significantly increase the survival rate of HIV positive individuals and reduce the number of new infections. If successful, the program could eliminate all new HIV infections in this country. Ultimately, the program may serve as a pilot project for replication around other parts of Africa and the world. We couldn't be more proud of your accomplishments, and it's something we're all very, very proud to be a part of.